All right, hello tigers. Tonight we are going to read a spooky tasty tale called Bone Soup by Alyssa Satin Capicilli. And the pictures are by Tom Knight. Bone Soup, a spooky tasty tale. One Halloween morning, three very hungry witches were looking for a tasty treat. They checked the cupboards only to find nothing there. Bear, said Naggy Witch. Empty, said Craggy Witch. Only a small dry bone, said Scraggy Witch. Only a bone. Only a bone, you say? Piff poof. Let's make bone soup, sisters, cackled Naggy Witch gleefully. Bone soup is the perfect Halloween treat. The three witches carried their cauldron and bone far and away until they came to a door. The witches hadn't even begun to knock when the door groaned open and there, the scariest looking monster they'd ever seen, towered before them. It made the witches shiver, but alas, they were very hungry. Trick or treat, trick or treat. We've something unusually good to eat. It's bone soup, soup from a bone, said Maggie Witch. Bone soup, impossible, go away. There'll be time for your tricks later, Boom the monster. Piff poof, it's no trick. A bit of water's all we need, promised Naggy Witch. I'm hungry, Papa, said a little monster as she appeared at the door. Can we make bone soup, please? None of your tricks, Boom the monster. Piff poof, only a treat, Naggy Witch replied. And in minutes, the bone and the water were bubbling inside the cauldron. Naggy Witch gave the cauldron a stir. She took a small taste. Bewitching, she said. If only we had something savory. That's all it needs, but where can we find it? Look, another door, said Craggy Witch. The three witches hadn't even begun to knock when the door opened with a hiss. And there, the spookiest ghost they've ever seen floated before them. It made the witches tremble, but alas, they were very hungry. Trick or, trick or treat, trick or treat. We've something unusually good to eat. It's bone soup, soup from a bone. A savory morsel is all it needs. Bone soup, impossible. Go away. There'll be time for your tricks later, called the ghost. Piff poof, it's no trick. It's a treat, said Scraggy Witch. And as the ghost was feeling a bit hungry, a most savory eye of a giant was soon bubbling in the cauldron. Do you see the eye of the giant? Bedazzling, said Naggy Witch after a small taste. If only it had something crunchy. And with that, the eeriest of ghouls brought forth a long, crackly wizard's tail. Piff poof, into the cauldron it goes, cried Naggy Witch. An unusual scent began to waft through the air now. Doors began creaking open, windows squeaked wide too. Beguiling, said Na Naggy Witch. But I wonder... Can a tasty tidbit or two be found? Juice of a toad, earthworms, dried dragon wings, drooled a bat. Colored flies, hot and sweet, snarled a goblin. Sludge, slimy sludge, whispered a mummy. Claws, claws, and more claws, rattled a skeleton. Piff poof, hypnotizing, murmured Naggy Witch, mixing and stirring, mixing and stirring. Wrinkled fingers, ooh, old toenails, howled a werewolf. Dead leaves, cobwebs, and the wrinkliest of prunes, snickered a vampire. Even Naggy Witch had to gasp. Now the crowd was growing hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. Bone soup? Soup from a bone? This better not be a trick, growled the monster. He was feeling particularly fierce and quite hungry just then. I'll take back that eye, warned the ghost. And the crackly tail grumbled the ghoul. I won't hang around much longer, sneered the bat. I'll use powers of my own, scowled the goblin. Let's wrap this up now, mumbled the mummy. Don't rattle me further, clattered the skeleton. Ooh, let's go, howled the werewolf. Before it's too late, snarled the vampire, baring his fangs. Bone soup, bone soup, soup from a bone, they whispered. Bone soup, bone soup, soup from a bone, they chanted. Bone soup, bone soup, soup from a bone, they roared. 
Three taps of your wand, scraggy witch, said the little monster. Wait, I know what it needs, cried a small voice. You do, asked Naggy Witch. Yes, three taps from your wand, scraggy witch, said the little monster. Tap, tap, tap. Two spins of your broom, craggy witch. Whirl, whirl. And one wave of your cape, Naggy Witch, if you please. Whoosh. Naggy Witch waved her cape over the bubbling brew. Then she mixed and she stirred and she took one more taste. Piff poof. Imagine that. Naggy Witch cackled gleefully. Bone soup and it's ready at last. Trick or treat, trick or treat, called Naggy Witch. We've something unusually good to eat. And as a full moon rose in the sky, the three witches filled a steaming bowl of bone soup for all. It was made with ingredients tried and true and some mysterious or monstrously new. The soup was scary, spooky, eerie, bewitchling, bedazzling, beguiling, hypnotizing, and spellbinding. But most of all, piff poof, it was bone chillingly delicious. All right, what do you think, Tigers? Would you like to make your own bone soup at home? If so, I'm going to make a copy of this recipe and we'll post it for you. Naggy Witch's Bone Soup. Bone, water for brew, eye of a giant, claws, juice of a toad, lizard's tail, wrinkled fingers, dried dragon wings, colored flies, green sludge, earthworms, old toenails, dead leaves, wrinkly prunes, and cobwebs. So there's a recipe at the back of this book that I can give you if you'd like to make bone soup. All right, trick or treat. Something unusually good to eat. Bone soup. I hope you enjoyed our story, Tigers. Have a great night.